Hey everybody, it's Ari. So the Legends results from the previous EQ month already here and I got the Legend badge. I placed and placed 94 with 3 hours and 12 minutes. This is what I did and my kids interrupted between so it took more. I think I could uh, do it 5 minutes less. But nonetheless, I have the Legend badge. It's nice. It won't benefit me in the game but still nice to have it and do it after 5 years playing this game. And in this video I will also will explain the team and the masteries and what you need to do to get this legend badge. So let's go! Let's start with the team that I used. My main attacker was Corvus. And with Corvus you don't need a critical damage increase, a critical rating increase because Corvus has a beast, it has insane critical rating, insane critical damage as long as it has these charges and for this legend run you will have the charges. So your main goal should be increasing the attack. This is what I did here. I worked on increasing my attack to maximum level that I could. So I brought Proxima Midnight for the synergy and also Doctor Strange. And if you look at this at the points, Doctor Strange with Corvus gives a 7% attack. And with Proxima Midnight, it another 6% attack. So currently we have 13% attack increase for my main attacker. Then I also did another thing, I brought another Corvus and my 3 star Proxima, I don't have a 5 star or 6 star Proxima, I think you will gain more attack. And with this one, you will gain another 6 attack from Doctor Strange, so it's 19% attack. And with Proxima Mina, it's another 5%, so I had 24% increased attack, so I tested a lot and this is the team that I decided to use. Corvus will attack like a truck, even without any charges. And let's move on to the mastery tree and in mastery tree I, you need to increase your attack to a higher level as you can defense and proficiencies doesn't really matter so you need to have liquid courage max you need to have double edge max glass cannon max of course you will have at least one point on recoil you don't really need a critical rating increase because chorus has already insane critical rating you can put a full, uh, full points on critical damage just to do a little bit more damage and of course I put a lot of points here it's a worthless mastery as usual but for legends run every second matters so you must have a, a higher attack as you can and this is very important for defensive I used I put some points on willpower just to regenerate from bleed and poison but that's it the proficiencies honestly you need only dexterity and parry this is the only masteries you need when you do a legends run. There is another important thing that you need to, to have while doing this run. I had for a long time 30% boost from different stuff that I got, but if you don't have, you will need to buy this bundle, you will need to be fully boosted all the time, so it's 30%, you will probably need at least use it twice. 20% also, you will also need to use a greater attack boost, again, every second is matter, and unfortunately there is another one last important thing, and this is what I hate the most, but you need to have iPhone probably, I have iPhone XS, because loading times in Android is just too low, but if someone here did a Legends run with Android device and got the Legend title, please comment below, it will be very interesting to know, but from what I know, you need to have an iPhone or iPad just to do the run. And every second, every millisecond is mother. So this is what I did to get my legend title. It doesn't really matter if you're legend or not. I waited almost five years to get this, but it's nice. It's nice to have it under your avatar. It won't benefit me in the game. If you enjoyed this video, click like, share, subscribe, and see you soon on my next video.